as the door closes on 2008 and the new year offers a new start. The Coast Guard is urging mariners and aviators to start the year off right and make the switch to a digital emergency beacon. Beginning February 1st, the Coast Guard and other search and rescue personnel will only receive distress alerts broadcast using digital 406 megahertz emergency position indicating radio beacons, or EPIRBs. Search and rescue satellites will no longer process older model analog EPIRBs that only transmit on 121.5 or 243 megahertz. The signal emitted from the new 406 megahertz EPIRB is 50 times more powerful than the 121.5 beacons, allowing satellites to better detect its signal and provide a more accurate search area for rescue crews. With the older analog beacons, an initial position uncertainty can result in a 500 square mile search area. With a digital beacon, that initial search area is reduced to just 25 square miles. Furthermore, a GPS embedded 406 EPIRB can shrink a search area to about 100 yards and can also pinpoint the position of a distressed mariner within minutes. In addition to the smaller search area and the faster notification times, the number of false alerts with digital beacons is significantly lower than with analog beacons. Many false alerts come from ATMs, stadium scoreboards, and pizza ovens. With analog beacons, the only way to determine if an alert is an actual emergency is to send rescue crews to the immediate area which costs thousands of dollars, takes resources away from actual emergencies, and puts the lives of responders needlessly at risk. The ultimate goal of the switch from the old analog EPIRB to the new digital EPIRB is to provide a more accurate and dependable location of people or vessels in distress and to decrease the amount of time it takes for rescue personnel to be on scene to assist. <laughs>